Hey, scientists, it's me, Sid. I want to know what my neighbor's dogs are saying when they bark. So my friends and I are going to discover that there's lots of science to explore in the backyard. Come explore with me, Sid the Science Kid, coming up next. Hey, is this thing on? <laughs> hey, Sid, what do you say? What you want to learn today? I want to know why things happen and how and want to know everything now. Oh, yeah. How does this thing work? Why does that stuff change? How does that do what it just did? Hmm, what's up with the sky? You think I could fly? The world is spinning and I want to know why. I got a lot of questions and big ideas. I'm Sid, the science kid. I'm Sid, and I'm listening really closely to something. <gasps> oh, there, hear that? A dog barked. <clears throat> oh, wait, I heard another dog barking over there. <gasps> wow, this is amazing. I think all the dogs in my neighborhood are talking. Yeah, and it's like they're barking right at me. And I think I know what they're trying to say. They're saying, hey, Sid, you need a dog because I really, 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 really want one. I want a pet doggy my very own to feed and brush and take for walks and even clean up after. <laughs> so I really, really want to know what's the big idea with all this barking? Can dogs talk? Sid, breakfast time. <gasps> oh boy, breakfast. Woohoo! <laughs> breakfast time. Hey, Sid. Morning, Sid. <laughs> hey, did you hear all those dogs barking this morning? And didn't you wonder what all that barking was for? <laughs> you mean besides waking us all up? Well, yeah. I mean, do you think they're talking? Well, kind of. In their own dog way. It's called communicating. Hmm. Communicating. That's a good word. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe they're saying, um, hey, Mom and Dad, please get Sid a dog of his own. <laughs> we know. I'll tell you what, Sid, we'll talk about it some more tonight when you get home from school. Okay. Hey, what is Zeke fussing about? Oh, I wish I knew. Oh, Zeke, what's wrong, huh, baby? What is it, sweetie? Hmm. I wonder what he wants to say. I don't think he's hungry. Nope, he already turned down his oatmeal and some apple juice. Well, does he have a full diaper? Hmm. Nope. nope. The kid is clean and fresh. Hmm. Uh. Hey, I've got an idea. <laughs> maybe, maybe he wants his teething toy. Here you go, buddy. Hey. Oh, nice job, Sid. Oh, how did you know that that's what Zeke was crying for? Oh, easy. I observed that Zeke was reaching for his teething toy. See, he always wants to chew on it when he's getting a new tooth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> With this guy around, who needs a dog? <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding, folks. But seriously, I really do, 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 really, really want a dog. We know. <laughs> You're communicating that to us loud and clear. But right now, I'm communicating to you that it's time to eat breakfast. Oh, yeah, it's almost time for school. I love my mom. Uh huh. My mom is cool. Uh huh. But now it's time for having fun in school. Yeah. <laughs> my friends. I'm looking for you. There's Gabriella. Watch what I can do. Yeah! <laughs> Ready, set, go! Wow! I'm looking for my friends. I'm looking for you. Hey, there's Gerald. Yeah! Check out my moves! <laughs> yeah! I'm a rock star! Gerald in the house! I'm looking for you. Hey, there's May. Uh, may I show you how I groove? All right. <laughs> so cool. Groovy. We're, We're looking, looking for our friends. friends. We're looking for you. Hey, there's Sid. Did you hear the one in Bosnia?
not the kid who wanted to know everything about everything? That's you! <laughs> For the Sid survey. Hmm. Hello, I am Sid, roving reporter with today's survey. The question: Do you think animals can talk? Maybe you can think about if animals talk too. Let's go get some answers. Hola there, Gabriella. Hola, Sid. <laughs> hey, do you think animals can talk? Well, I don't think they can talk. You know, like we do. But I do think they say stuff to each other. Oh, like. Moo! Buck, 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 buck! Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit! <laughs> oh, you mean they communicate? Sure! Maybe lots of animals can communicate. Whoa, I never thought of that. Huh, thanks a lot, Gabriella. Sure thing! <laughs> Gabriella's so smart. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, May! Hello up there! Hello down there, Sid! <laughs> Well, how about you, May? Do you think animals can talk? Oh, I think my cat Mushu can talk. Cause mm. when she purrs and meows at me, I think she's telling me, thanks for dinner. I love you, May. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> wow, that's cool, May. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. 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 <laughs> Hi, Sid Survey Guy! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Gerald. Hey, do you think animals can talk? Oh, yeah, sure. Dogs can talk. Um, I know because I can speak dog. You can? Yeah, here, watch. Wow, what did all that mean? Hello. What? All that meant hello? <laughs> what did that mean? Yes! <laughs> okay, thanks, Gerald. I mean, roof, roof, roof. <laughs> and now, the results of my survey. Gabriella says that maybe lots of animals can talk. May says her cat Mushu talks when she purrs. And Gerald can even talk dog. <laughs> maybe you've heard animals talk too. And there you have it. I am Sid, roving reporter and animal talking expert. And I really, really, really want a dog. Everybody, rug time! Ooh, that's teacher Susie. It's rug time, come on in! Rug time, take a seat! Rug time, we're ready! Everybody, move your feet! Rug time, teacher Susie! Good times on the way! Rug time, come on in! We've got a lot to learn today! I'm a doggy! Doggy, come! Okay! And sit! Good doggy! Boy. <laughs> so, who wants to share something with the class? Oh, oh, Sid was asking us if we think that dogs can talk. And that made me wonder, do lots of animals talk? Oh, good question, Gabriella. You know, even if they don't use words like we do, lots and lots of animals can communicate. So, Susie, how do animals communicate? Well, one way that animals communicate is the sounds that they make. Oh, oh like my cat Mushu, when she's purring and meowing, it means, I love you. And that feels good. And it's great to be a cat. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the right track, May. And animals communicate in other ways, too. Like, um, oh, how they move their bodies or, or how they look with their eyes. Oh, oh, yeah. Here, look at this. I am communicating that I am interested in all this stuff. <laughs> Very good, Gerald. And when animals talk to each other in all the different ways that animals do, we call it animal communication. Oh, hey, Susie, can we see some animals communicate? Sure we can. I think it's time to go to... The Super Fab Lab! Yeah! Grab your journals and let's go! Okay, let's go! <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, today we're going to look at some video on the computer and see the way different animals communicate. Cool! Okay. <laughs> you mean to tell everyone if they're hungry or angry? Oh, or scared or excited? Exactly! Now, your job is to observe closely and guess what they're trying to communicate. Okay. Cool. All right. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's hey, see. you're a scientist. You can try this too. I hope there's a hippo. Okay, scientists, let's observe some animals and guess what they're trying to communicate. Then you can pretend to be an animal too. This dog is wagging his tail. He might be telling us he's excited. Okay, your turn. Did you hear that? The cat is communicating to us that he's hungry. He wants to eat. Can you meow like a cat? Look at the way the goose is flapping his wings and making noise. He's telling other geese to stay away. Hey, you look like a goose too. This frog is making noises with his cheeks. He's trying to call a female frog. Now you try it. The young male gorilla is beating his chest. That's his way of telling other gorillas, here I am, don't come near me. Look at the way the male peacock spreads his big, beautiful feathers. He wants female peacocks to look at him. Can you pretend that you're a peacock too? Hey, great job! Okay, it's time to draw some pictures in your journals. Do you remember what animals we observed today? Did they spread their feathers? Did they wag their tails? Think about all the ways animals communicate. Wow, those animals were communicating in so many different ways, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They were. oh I can't they were. wait to see what observations you made. Let's start with you, Sid. Huh? Oh, sure. Well, I drew a dog wagging his tail. He's communicating with me, and I think he's saying that he's excited. Oh, that's a good guess, Sid. He might be excited. But remember, always ask permission from a dog's owner before you try to pet it. Oh, good idea. How about you, Gabriella? What did you draw? I drew the peacock. <laughs> See, look, he spread his feathers really big. I think he wanted everyone to look at him and his big, beautiful tail. Hey, hey guys, look, look at me. I'm a peacock. <laughs> look at my pretty feathers. Oh, they are pretty. And do you know why male peacocks show off their tail feathers? Why? To attract female peacocks. Ah, what? Uh, really? Oh. Okay, I'm a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Gorilla Gerald. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All my scientists are communicating to me that you've learned a lot about animal communication. Yeah. Hey, I think it's time to play with all your new ideas. Yay! Here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. I want to be a gorilla too. It's time for Good Afternoon! <laughs> You be a dog, and I'll ask you some questions. Okay, yeah. Hey, doggy, what's on top of a house? Roof, roof. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what's outside a tree? Oh, uh, bark, bark, bark. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what does sandpaper feel like? Rough, rough. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Wait, Gabriella, what's the joke? Oh, there's no joke. I just said hello. I'm communicating. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. <laughs> hey, Sid. Yes, May. What did the cat say when someone stepped on its tail instead of ow? Hmm, I don't know, May. What did the cat say when someone stepped on its tail instead of ow? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> And you know what a cow says. Now that's Mooey. I am Dr. Gabriella, animal doctor. That's 
what we call a veterinarian. Send in my first animal, a gorilla. <laughs> Hello, gorilla. Good communicating. You are hungry. Here's a banana. <laughs> You're welcome. Next, meow. Oh, meow. well, hello, Maze Cat meow. Mushu. Good communicating. Meow. You just need someone to pet you. Meow. There, there. Purr. There, there. <laughs> I love you too, Mushu. Next. <laughs> hello, doggy. This doggy is communicating that he wants to go to the bathroom. <laughs> My work here is done. The end. Hey, Gerald, that was really good pretending. You made us think that you actually had to go to the bathroom. Oh, thanks, Sid, but I wasn't pretending. I do have to go to the bathroom! <laughs> <laughs> and now... It's time... For Susie... To sing... Go! You know, today we've been talking about the different ways that animals communicate. But did you know that bees communicate by dancing? Wow. It's so, fun. It's so, fun. <laughs> so who wants to learn the bee dance? We, we do. do. All right, here we go. Home sweet home, but to find a food the worker bees have got to roam. How do they tell us where the food will be? They communicate by dancing, it's a sight to see. The busy, 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 busy buzzing, cause we're in the honey biz. They do the waggle dance or do the round dance to tell every bee where the pollen is. The busy, 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 busy buzzing, they really put on a show. The worker bees communicate by dancing. That's how they tell us where to go. If the flowers are close, they do the round dance. They start dancing like they got ants in their pants. If it's farther away, they do the waggle dance. They waggle and they wiggle till it makes you wanna giggle. Busy, 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 busy buzzing. Cause we're in the honey biz. They do the waggle dance or do the round dance. To tell every bee where the pollen is. Busy, 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 busy buzzing. They really put on a show. The worker bees communicate by dancing. That's how they tell us where to go. The busy, busy, busy buzzing. They really put on a show. The worker bees communicate by dancing. That's how they tell us where to go. Communication is cool. Boy, I can't wait to go home and listen to my neighborhood dogs again. Maybe they really are saying, hey, Sid needs a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they are, Sid. Okay, scientists, it's time to go home. Follow me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, buzz, buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Now, where's my Sid? Oh, right here, Grandma. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Now, okie doke, let's roll. Let's roll. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! <laughs> leaner, leaner, leaner. Leaner, leaner. Ah, I like that. Betsy driving with Grandma. Woo! <laughs> okay, kiddo. Tell me about your day. Okay, well, I learned that lots of animals talk to each other. It's called animal communication. Hey, I learned that too when I read about one of my favorite scientists, Jane Goodall. She wanted to find out how chimpanzees communicate. So she moved to Africa and went deep into the jungle to learn more about how they lived, studying them, observing them, and just plain hanging out in the forest with them. Sounds kind of fun, huh? Well, she observed their behavior, how they communicated, if they were hungry, angry, scared, or happy. Yep, Jane Goodall. That's one cool scientist. <laughs> wow. Well, if I ever get a dog, I'm going to try to communicate with it, just like Jane Goodall did with the chimps. Oh, 
really? Mm -hmm. Well, I have a surprise, Sid. Something I picked up at the animal shelter today. The uh, shelter? What? You got a dog? Ruff, 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 ruff. Oh, Grandma, <laughs> that's not a dog, that's just Dad. <laughs> yeah, you're right. But what about this? <gasps> <gasps> A dog, Grandma, you did get a dog! <laughs> I sure did. And you can come over and play with him whenever you want. Super cool. <laughs> yeah, come on out and meet him, Sid. Okay. Come here, boy. Come here. <laughs> hey, look at that. I think he's excited to meet you. Oh, boy, I'm even more excited. Hey, hey there, I'm Sid. <laughs> he wants to be my friend. <laughs> hey, Grandma, what's his name? Oh, you'll like his name. It's Philbert. Wow. Hi, Philbert. Hey there, boy, do you want to see our backyard? There's lots of room to run around and play. <laughs> All right, let's go. Come on, boy. Yeah, Ooh. backyard's back here. <laughs> I learned something cool, something cool today. I know it upside down and inside out. I learned all about <laughs> animal communication. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Mom, you will not believe what Grandma got today. Yeah. What's that, sweetheart? <laughs> Hi. Look. <laughs> <laughs> A dog. His name is Philbert. Oh, hi, Philbert. <laughs> oh, good doggy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Sid, why don't you give Philbert a tour of your backyard? I bet he's never seen a tree house before. Oh, okay. Hey, come on, Philbert, follow me. Okay, see, here's our picnic table where we eat lots of yummy food. Yeah, you like food, huh, boy? Me too. Oh, and here's our barbecue where we cook lots of yummy food. <laughs> I know it smells good. And here's the best part of the whole backyard, my tree house! Isn't it great? I know, I think it's great too. Oh, we're gonna be playing with this a lot. It's my soccer ball. Here, catch, boy. Here you go. Good job! <laughs> All right, awesome! <laughs> oh, Mom, what a great day. I learned all about animal communication and Grandma got Philbert. <laughs> I think Philbert is trying to communicate that he wants to stay over here tonight with you, Sid. What? Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, boy, yay! <laughs> Philbert, you can spend the night. You can spend the night. Get in here, Philbert. Yeah, a little further. Welcome to my room. <laughs> Isn't it great? Yeah, over here is my bed. Mm -hmm. And here are my stuffed animals. Look at them all. They're really nice. <laughs> Ooh. And this guy is Dr. Beaks. Watch out for him. <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> you try. <laughs> Good one, Philbert. <laughs> oh, you hear that? <sighs> Turns out dogs can communicate. Maybe they're just saying, hi, Philbert. <laughs> <sighs> I wish I knew what animals were trying to say. Hmm. Okay, Philbert, I've got it. Here's my super duper ooper schmooper big idea. I'm gonna invent a special hat called the Animal Chat Hat. That's big dog ears, just like Grandma's dog Philbert's, that can perk up and listen to all the animal sounds from all over the world. And when those special ears hear animal sounds, they can understand exactly what the animals are saying. Here, I'll show you how it works. Here comes the whale. The whale just said, the water's cold. Here's a flamingo. Hey, flamingo! <laughs> he said, it's fun being pink. And here comes a big elephant. Hey, what you up to, Mr. Elephant? <laughs> oh, I agree, Mr. Elephant. It is a nice sunny day. <laughs> hey, Philbert, I can understand you too. <laughs> oh, I love you too, Philbert. The animal chat hat is amazing. And that's my super duper brush mooper. Big idea. <laughs> <laughs> he says, you've been a great audience. Oh, and he also says, good night. I am Sid, 
the science kid. <laughs> Remember, keep asking lots and lots of questions. See you later, scientists. Okay, Filbert, let me introduce you to Arnie, the big green dinosaur. Hmm? What? Oh, yeah, that panda over there is Ignatz. Mm -hmm. And up there is my robot, Flip. Yeah. Oh, I love you, Filbert. <laughs> Yay! Observe, compare, and contrast? And I bet you do, too. Observe, that's when you look really closely at something and listen to it, and maybe even smell it and feel it. Compare, that's when you look at two things and think about how they're the same. Contrast, that's when you observe things and think about what's different about them. Be sure to check out another episode full of amazing science. My friends and I will learn how to use simple machines and dig into backyard science. See you next time on Sid the Science Kid.